Our God is awesome God. Our God is faithful. Our God is a just God. There is no one like unto the name of our Lord and of our Savior Jesus Christ. He is a great God. He is a wonderful God. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you face like that? <laughs> Jesus loves us so much, he cares for us. Thank you so much, Mom. Thank you. Thank you. Today is a day of joy. You want to have joy, young lady? You have joy. God bless you. I have joy in my heart. Jesus is love. Hallelujah. Jesus loves Muslims, young lady. God bless you, sister. Because Jesus is Muslim. Jesus loves Muslims. And he died for Muslims to set Muslims free. Jesus died for Muslims to set Muslims free. Jesus Christ is Lord. God bless you. Jesus love you. Hey, how are you? <laughs> She's good. She's good, I assure you. God is a faithful God. Jesus Christ is Lord. Love say, for God so love you. Love the world. Our God is faithful. Hello, sister. I've given you before. God bless you. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hello, young lady. Jesus love you. Jesus care for you. I have joy in my heart. Jesus is Lord. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you have joy in your heart today? Have, yes. You have it. God bless you, Mom. God is a good God. For Jesus Christ is Lord. Do you have joy in your heart today? Uh -huh. What about you? Do you have joy today, young people? Is the Lord in the strength? God bless you. God bless you. Thank you very much. Our God is faithful. Do you have joy in your heart, dear sister? The joy of the Lord is our strength. Hello, everybody, young people. Jesus Christ, love every one of you, okay? Our God is faithful. Our God is just. That is not like unto the name of our Lord and our Savior. God bless you, young man. Jesus Christ, love us so much. That everlasting love. God bless you. Thank you so much. Today is the day of salvation. Our God is a faithful God. Joy is what every one of us needs. Hello. God bless you. Joy is what we need. The joy of the Lord. God bless you, my friend. Wow. So we are Hold on, okay, you're just doing God bless you. You're doing a good job, and God will reward you. I can assure you that. Amen. Our God is an awesome God. Jesus Christ is Lord. What a wonderful God. What a mighty God. Jesus love you, young man. You know, that, that's good. That's good. Our message today is joy. Joy, joy, joy. You have joy today. Joy of the Lord. You give your strength. What type of joy do you have? The joy that the world gives or the joy that God gives? And good joy is the best joy. The joy that you receive from God. The joy that you receive from the, mess, from the Master, Jesus, the Messiah. The Messiah joy. The joy of the Lord. The joy that the Son of God gives to us. That is the joy. That is the perfect joy. The joy that you will not end. Some joy has an end and some joy stays forever. The joy that stays forever is the joy of the Lord. The joy that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, gives to us. That is the joy that stays forever. Young man, God bless you. Jesus Christ is Lord. Do you have joy, son? God bless you. That joy is the joy that we are talking about today. The joy that Jesus Christ gives to us. Gives to everyone of us. God bless you, sir. Our God is a faithful God. Our God is an awesome God. There is no one like unto the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
Today is the day of salvation. Today is the acceptable day. You gotta have joy. It's good that you have joy. But Jesus Christ died for us. God bless you. To save us, to set us free. So let that joy, the joy of the resurrection, let it be our strength. Because that joy is a good joy that will strengthen us. It makes us to be good. Our God is a faithful God. The word of God said that the joy of the Lord is our strength. This is the strength of his people. Oh, yeah, this is it. Oh, it's in Finnish now. of God. Hello, young lady. Jesus, love you. Our God lives forever. The joy of the Lord is our strength, young man. Do you understand? No, no. Our God is an awesome God. The Bible says that the right joy is the joy of the Lord. Do you have joy today? Do you have the joy of the Lord? And what is the foundation of your joy? Where do your joy come from? Do you have joy? If you don't have joy here on earth, there's no chance for you to go to the kingdom of God. Because in the kingdom of God, you will not see the people that are angry. There's no angry people in the kingdom of God. If you are angry, you're not going to the kingdom of God. You must be joyful in order to go to the kingdom of God. If you are an angry man, there is no angry face in the kingdom of God. You must be happy. You must be joyful. Therefore, if you want to go to the kingdom of God, you're going to be happy. You're going to be joyful. Your face must be shining. Your face must be smiling. Our God is a faithful God. And such a joy is a joy that even the joy that leads even, even to the dead, even in death, the joy shows, the joy of the Lord shows our God is a faithful God. If you don't have joy, if you're not smiling, how can you smile in heaven? If you want to go to heaven and you're not smiling here on earth, Jesus, love you, young man. We care for you. Our God is a faithful God. As many as want to go to heaven, you got to start from here. The heaven starts from here. Your heaven must start from here on earth. The Bible says, let that will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. So if you are happy here, you're going to be happy in heaven. But if you are not happy, if you're not smiling here, you're not smiling in heaven. <laughs> the joy of the Lord is our strength. So if you have joy here, you, you, you are half joy in heaven. Uh, 
food used to slap. Like, now when I taste it again. You look different. You look much. Oh, God bless Everybody's nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And I've got it's an awesome God. Listen, let me tell you, if you see your brothers and if you see me and you are hungry, how can you go to heaven? Because I'm going to bless you. And I'm going to heaven. Yeah? And heaven is one heaven. We have one Lord, we have one God, we have got one Messiah, we've got one Son of God, we've got one God. So if you see me now and you're not happy, how can you go to heaven where I'm going? Because I'm going there. So you better be happy when you see me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. God bless you. God is a good God. We must be happy when we see ourselves. We must be joyful. Because if you are not happy here, you're not going to be happy. Now. Are you happy here, sir? Are you happy here? Yes, you're happy here. Are you happy here? Are you happy here? Are you happy here? You're going to be happy in heaven, but if you're not, look at your face. That face is not going to heaven at all. You are happy. God bless you. Uh -huh. Now you change. Sister, God bless you. She, that one is happy, so she's going to heaven. So if you are smiling here, you're going to smile to heaven. If you are not smiling here, you're not going to smile to heaven. So smile, because Jesus Christ loves you. That is one beautiful song that says, Smile, Jesus loves you. Brother, smile, Jesus loves you. Hallelujah. Smile, Jesus loves you. I say, smile, Jesus love you. Hallelujah. Smile, Jesus love you. I say, smile, Jesus love you. Hallelujah. Smile, smile. Put a little bit of smile, young man. Smile, Jesus love you. I say, smile, Jesus love you. Hallelujah. Jesus loved everything. God bless you, young man. He put a little bit of smile. Hello, sister. Do you want to smile every day? Jesus Christ love us. Smile, Jesus love you. Hello, young man. God bless you. Amen. I can see you. Your smile. You are going to heaven, okay? God bless you. God bless you. If you smile, you go to heaven. Because in heaven, you've got a smiling face. You've got a people that are happy. So do that are married. But if you're not smiling here on earth, how can you go to heaven? You're gonna, you know, you're gonna destroy everything. God wouldn't let that your face go to heaven. You're not sure, I know. That's why you're not smiling. That's why you're not smiling, you see? Because you've got anger in you. You've got, you've got hatred in you. There is no hate that will enter into the kingdom of God. No form of hate that enters into the kingdom of God. young people, there's no form of hate. No, no matter how little it is, smile, young man. If you hate your brother, how can he go to heaven? Heaven, that is love. In the kingdom of God, that is love, that is joy, that is peace, okay? So you're going to be happy, okay, before you go to heaven. If you're not happy here, you're not going to go to heaven, okay? You're going to be happy in order to go to heaven. Smile, Jesus love you. I say smile, Jesus love you. Hallelujah. Smile. Come on, put the smile. Jesus Christ, this is the day the Lord has made. You gotta smile because God has given us this day. The one of God said, This is the day the Lord has made that we should rejoice and be glad in Him. This day is given to us to rejoice and not to be happy and not to be sad and not to be moody. But the day the Lord has given to us is a good day. It's a wonderful day, young man. God bless you. Thank you very much. It's a wonderful day. This is a beautiful day. God has given it to us that we should rejoice and be glad in this. So if you are not rejoicing, you are not living in the day the Lord has given to us. You can only live in the day the Lord has given to us if you are rejoicing, if you are happy, then you are living. If you are not happy, you are not here. You are not with us. Our God is a good God. So happy God bless you, young man. Jesus Christ, Lord, young lady, are you happy? Look at that. I think that's smile. that's smile. that's smile. God is a faithful God. This is the day the Lord has made. Young lady, put a little bit smile. If you put your face like that, then you're not going to have God. That's a kind of God heaven. It's for good people. God bless you. It's for people that are smiling. Heaven is good for the good people, for the happy people. Heaven is not meant for hatred. If you hate your brother here, yeah, you're going nowhere. You're not going to go to heaven. I tell you now, there is no hate in heaven. What is in heaven is love, joy, peace. That's what is in heaven. If you hate your brother, if you hate your sister, if you hate anybody here on earth, you're not going to heaven, I tell you. You're going to love one another. That's what the Bible says. Love one another. That's my commandment to you. You're going to love one another. You don't need to hate anybody. 
if you hate anybody here, sister, you're not going nowhere if you hate me. I know you love me. God bless you. Jesus Christ is Lord. Our God is a faithful God. Great is that faithfulness of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. The light of God is shining for you to smile, for you to be happy, for you to look unto each other and say, wow, Jesus love you. You don't want to uh, God bless you. Jesus Christ is Lord, everybody. Jesus Christ live and reign forever. There is no one that can to God bless you. God bless you. Our God is faithful, our God is just, our God is kind, our God is wonderful. There is no one like unto the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ that died for us on the cross of Calvary for us. He give us joy. The Bible says, give us joy. I have joy. Joy in my heart. Joy in my heart. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you have joy in your heart? This is your face need to be brightened. God bless you. God bless you. When you smile, your face is brighter. Then you're gonna say, God bless you, sir. Look at that. God bless you. Young lady. Smile. Give a smile. Come on. Give a smile today to the word of God. Give a smile for Jesus Christ loves us so much. Jesus Christ is about to be resurrected. Getting ready. Today he went to the hell and took the key from, from devil. He took the key. The key that Adam lose. He went to the hell and take it back and get it back. So he's gonna be happy. Because the key of hell has been taken from devil. Our God is a faithful God. Jesus Christ is Lord. Are you happy, young lady? Jesus, God, are you still? Know, you're smiling. You're going to go. You're going to go. Are you smiling? Are you happy? <laughs> Look at your face. Oh, my God. Our God is a faithful God. I'm going to show you. If you don't love me, if you don't smile, how can you go? I'm going to heaven, you know. If you love me, you're going to smile and you're going to have joy. And you're going to have your brother and you're going to love your brother and your sister. Joy, love is the fulfillment of the commandment. Yeah. If you love one another, then you are fulfilling the word of God. You are fulfilling the commandment. Jesus Christ is Lord. Our God lives and reigns forever. There is no one like God in the name of our Lord and of our Savior Jesus Christ, who died for us on the cross of Calvary to save us, to set us free. Today is that day, a wonderful, beautiful day. The day the Lord has made. The Lord has given it to us that we should rejoice and be glad in Him because Jesus Christ loves us to be happy. And that's why He gave us everything. Our God is a faithful God. There is no one like unto the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ loves us so much. He gave His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Hello, sister. How are you doing today? Amen. God bless you. Amen. He loves us so much. That's why he gave us his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. The Bible said that God so loved you. God gave his only begotten son into the world. Not that he want to destroy the world. He do not want to destroy the world, but he want the world to be saved through him because he has prepared a place for us. That's the kingdom of God. The place that the Lord... Hey, my friend, how are you doing? God bless you. God doesn't like people. Thieves. Criminals. Yeah, yeah don't God doesn't like criminals. Criminals, they're not happy. They're yeah. Because they are facing, they are facing uh, always judgment. They say, thou shalt who steal is cursed. Yeah, cause he's stealing his curse. Yeah, that's why we are here. Because he, you never have joy. You know, when you are stealing, when you are taking what is not yours, you cannot have joy. Yeah, you are cursed when you are stealing. Yes. But the Bible says, let the thieves repent. Let them repent. But when they repent, they receive Christ in their heart. Jesus Christ is Lord everybody. The word of God says, let them that steal, steal no more. If you are stealing people's property, if you are stealing people's goods, steal no more. Our God is a faithful God. Jesus Christ loves us. Our God is good. Smile, Jesus Christ loves Hello, sister. God bless you. I love that. Smile, Jesus Christ loves you, everybody. Jesus Christ died for our sins, died to save him, set him free. Today is a day of salvation. Today is a day of the Lord. The Lord has given us this day. It's a wonderful, beautiful day. Jesus Christ live and reign forever and ever and ever. There is no one like unto the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who died for us on the cross to save us, set us free. Today is that day. It's a wonderful day. Our message today is joy. Do you have joy? Do you have joy? Do you have unspeakable joy? The joy of God. The joy of the salvation of God. The joy of the Lord is in your strength. Our God is a faithful God. Hey, Happy Easter, Mommy. Amen. God bless you. Thank you very much. Great is God's faithfulness. 
The goodness of God endures forever. The goodness of God makes you happy. Our message today is joy. Do you have joy? In heaven there is joy. If you don't have joy here on earth, you cannot go to heaven at all. And joy is the food. Okay? Joy is good. Our God is a faithful God. There is no one like us in the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. He died for us to save us, to set us free. There is no, no other name given among men whereby we must be saved. It must be Jesus. If you want to have joy, it must be Jesus that gives you joy. There is no other name that can give you joy. It is only that name, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He is the one that gives joy. He is the joy of our soul. He is the joy of our spirit. He is the joy of our body. Our God is a faithful God. If you want your body to rejoice, we're going to have Jesus Christ, okay? Jesus Christ loves you. And if you want that joy, you must have Jesus Christ in your life. And if you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, there is no joy in you. The joy of the Lord must be there. And that joy of the Lord is the presence of God, the presence of the Almighty God. That is the joy of the, the, the strength. The strength we have today is when we have that joy, the joy of salvation. I have a joy. The joy of salvation. The joy of deliverance. The joy of salvation. I have a joy. My Savior has given me the joy of salvation. Joy every day. Joy, joy, joy every day. The joy of salvation. The joy of deliverance. Joy every day. I have a joy, the joy of salvation, the joy of deliverance, the joy of victorious. I have a joy, my Savior has given me the joy of salvation. Joy every day, I say joy, joy, joy every day. I have that joy, I love, I love that. God bless you, God bless you. Those that have joy in their hearts, they have Christ. Because Christ is the author of joy. Jesus Christ is the author of joy. God bless you, young people. Jesus Christ loves us and he is the author of joy, okay? God bless you. And God is the young lady. Jesus Christ loves you. Jesus Christ is the author of joy. He's the author of life. He gives us joy. He gives us happiness. He makes us happy. He makes us happy. Happiness comes from him. Joy comes from him. He's given us God bless you, young man. God bless you. Our God is a faithful God. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ, give us joy. God bless you. Happiness, though, God bless you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Our God is faithful. Jesus Christ is Lord. Joy and happiness come from the Lord. That joy, the joy of the Lord, it is our strength. It is the strength of his people. When you have the strength of the Lord, that means you have the joy of the Lord. Our God is a faithful. Our God is a just God. That is known like unto the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. He died for us on the cross to save us, save us free. And He's a great God. See, do you have joy today, young lady? You see the way you're looking at me? You're not going to go to heaven with that face because I'm going to be in heaven. So if I go to heaven and you're looking at me like that, you're not going to be in heaven, isn't it? Who are you, who are you to judge yourself that you will be in heaven? How do you know you are in heaven? I'm, I'm in heaven already. How do you know? I'm going to show you. My, my spirit is bearing witness. Nobody I'm in heaven knows already. who is going to heaven. I know you I'm going. Know I know. Because your heart is deceiving you. Yeah, because... Yeah, your heart is deceiving you. Our God is a faithful God. God bless you, young man. You should not your, say your you heart, are clean. Your heart, you shouldn't when say you, you are clean. When you are right, right, when you are right, your so, heart will tell so you. That gives I tell you, you have got, you've got something so, in your so, heart. So, so, so you've got, you, you've you got something in your you heart. Yes. You're deceiving yourself, man. God bless you. Yes, I'm blessed. You have no right to yes, judge anyone. You. Only God Let can judge. Let me tell you now, I know I'm going to heaven. How do you know? I know because I'm living a righteous life. You need to be a righteous yes, life. Yes, absolutely. I'm because telling you. Nobody knows what I, I'm, not, I, I, I'm not shouting like you. The people that shout like you, but you guys are fighting. You tell And I tell you, this way you are, this way you are arguing, that is not heaven for you. This way you are arguing, this way you are arguing, there is no heaven for you. I tell you. Look at you. Go and repent from your sins. Have you repent from your sins? This is the life you're doing. Have you repent from your sins? Do you repent from your sins. You back. Have you repented from your sins? The people who have you repented from your sins? Have you repented from your sins? Have you repented from your sins? You are. You have not repented. Go and repent from your sins. Jesus Christ love you. Repent from your sins. Look at your your speech is is going everywhere. Repent from your sins. Our God is faithful. <laughs> Because I'm living a good life. Because I'm living a righteous life. 
The Bible says, the word of God says, as many as the many, the word of God says, as many as give their lives. Unless your fingers are clean, how do you know your fingers are clean? God bless you. How are you? You are not a happy man. You are going. If you carry on like this, brother, you go to hell. If you carry on like this, only God can tell me I'm going to hell. If you carry on like this, angry, an angry man doesn't go to the kingdom of God. Let me tell you, an angry man never go to the kingdom of God. Angry man, when you are angry, there is no kingdom of God for you. There is no anger in the kingdom of God. You are coming back again. Come back again. Our God is a faithful God. Jesus Christ is God. What a good God we serve. Angry man. You're not going to go to the kingdom of God. But the fact that you judge someone is going to hell and you're going to heaven. Who are you to judge? Sinners go to hell. Who are you to judge? Sinners go to hell. That's what the Bible says. Sinners go to hell. Sinners go to hell. That's what the word of God says. Unless you repent, you will perish. If you don't repent, you will perish. Your brain has been taken away from you you and has been put down to the slavery. If you don't repent, you go to hell. That is a mental slavery you have in there. You don't need a sharpness on your leg or your hand. It has been put in your head. Remove that slavery from me. Jesus love you. Repent. All I'm saying to you today, repent. Have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Repent. Today is the day of Jesus salvation. Jesus told you, you that repent nobody from your is greater than today. God. Our God Why is faithful. So why are you telling what someone telling you he's going to hell and you repent from your sins? Even repent Jesus did not tell anyone he's going to hell. Whatever you say, you must yeah. repent. If you don't repent, you go to hell. That's it. If you don't repent, brother, you go to hell. But if you repent, you go to the kingdom of God with me. I have repented. I give my life to Jesus Christ. Okay, you gotta repent. You gotta give your life to Jesus Christ before you go to the kingdom of God. If you don't do that, you go into hell. That's true. Our God is a faithful God. The truth is bitter, you know, but it's safe. When you speak the truth, people get offended because this gentleman have not repented from his sin. And he wants to go to heaven without repentance. Jesus Christ loves us so much. You gotta repent and you gotta have the joy of salvation. This is a very wonderful conversation. Jesus Christ loves us with that everlasting love. Young man, you're gonna go to heaven? You like to go to heaven? Jesus Christ is Lord. I'm here today to talk about the kingdom of God. In the kingdom of God, there is joy. Not, there's no anger, people. The, the people that are angry, they will never ever go to the kingdom of God. It is only the people that are joyful that you go to the kingdom of God. If you are angry face, if you put on that very face when you see your brother or your sister, then you're not going nowhere. Because your brother and your sister will go to the kingdom of God. And then if you go, goodbye, then what, what about in heaven? When you see me in heaven, what's going to say to me? Goodbye. <laughs> heaven is good. It's a prepared place for the prepared people. Today is the day of salvation, everybody. Today is the acceptable day. Great is that faithfulness of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. You know, we are ready for all these things. So are you ready to go to heaven, young man? Young lady? Jesus loves you. <laughs> no? No, God wants you to go to heaven, okay? Jesus loves you, man. The Bible says, but except you repent, you will all likewise perish. By God's grace, I will be there. Yeah. If you want to go to heaven, you must be on my side. You must be on the side of joy. You must love your neighbor as yourself. If you hate your neighbor, you cannot go to heaven. That's it. It's only when you love your neighbor that you can go to the kingdom of God. Our God is an awesome God. Hello, young lady. Jesus loves you. Do you love your neighbor? Do you love me? 
You love your friend, you love your brother, you love your sister. If you don't love, you're going to go to hell. As simple as ABCD. That is heaven and that is hell. I know many people they don't want to hear about hell, but that's true. That is heaven, that is hell. Our God is a faithful God. Today is that day, wonderful, beautiful day. The day of salvation, the day of the day the Lord has made. Young lady, Jesus Christ loves you. He cares for you. And he wants you to go to the kingdom of God. Hello, young people. Jesus loves you. Do you want to have this? Give mom and dad. Thank you. We are very lovely. God bless you. Bless the of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. He died on the cross for us to save us, to set us free. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Jesus Christ is the joy, the joy of salvation. Our God is faithful. The name of our God is a strong tower. The righteous run into the name of our God and the righteous is saved. Great is the faithfulness of God. Jesus Christ loves us so much. Jesus Christ is important than anything. Our God is a faithful God. Our God is just. Jesus loves every one of you, young ladies. Jesus cares for you. Smile, Jesus Christ loves you. That is one beautiful song. He says, Smile, Jesus loves you. I say, Smile, Jesus loves you. Hallelujah. Smile, Jesus loves you. I say smile, Jesus love you. Hallelujah. God bless you, brother. How are you doing today? Smile, Jesus God bless you. Jesus love you. I say smile, Jesus love you. Hallelujah. Smile, Jesus love you. I say smile, Jesus love you. I'm gonna show you. If you're gonna go to heaven, you know it. You know it in your spirit. Your spirit must testify to you that you will go to the kingdom of God. If you are not living a good life, there is no heaven for you. If you don't love your neighbor as yourself, if you don't love God from all your heart, there is no heaven for you. We're going to speak the truth. The truth is bitter, but it saves. The truth is very, very bitter, and it saves us. And that truth is, there is heaven and there is hell. And what will take you to the kingdom of God is when you love your neighbor, when you smile. When you see me, you are smiling. Look at that. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. But let it come from the heart. Amen. Yes, thank you very much. God bless you. <laughs> Jesus Christ loves us so much. With that everlasting love, Jesus Christ cares for us. Listen, many people don't want to hear about hell, but there is hell, young lady. And when you do good, go to the kingdom of God, and you will know that you are doing good. <laughs> God is a good God. Jesus Christ so much without everlasting love. That is not to be compared with Him. He's a great God. He, God bless you. God bless you. Smile, Jesus Christ, love you. God bless you, young lady. Great is that faithfulness of God. Jesus love you. You're gonna smile. You're gonna be happy. You're going to be happy. Our God is faithful. Our God is just. That is not to be compared to you. Now we say, but unless you repent, you will likewise perish. But unless you repent, but unless you give your life to Jesus Christ, you will likewise perish. If you don't repent, you will perish. This is the law and the prophets. That if you repent, you perish. If you don't repent, you're going nowhere. The Bible says, repent. And go to the kingdom of God. God bless you. If you don't repent, God bless you, sister. Yeah, repentance is what Jesus Christ wants us to preach to the whole world. Repentance and salvation. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of salvation. Jesus Christ loves us so much. With that wonderful love. With that everlasting love. Oh, hallelujah. There is no one like unto the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. God bless you, sir. Our God is awesome. Our God is sinful. That is not to be compared to the name of our Lord. Hello, young man. Are you happy? Oh, Jesus, love you. Amen. Our God is faithful. Those that are happy, definitely you are going to the kingdom of God. When you are happy from your heart, you're happy to see your brother, happy to see your sister. Happy to see your friend, happy to see your wife. There are some people today that they're not happy to see their wife, they're not happy to see their friend, they're not happy to see their brother, they're not happy to see their sister. How can you go to heaven? How can you go to heaven when you're not happy to see a human being? 
and there is heaven that is human beings in heaven. Our God is a faithful God. Jesus Christ is Lord. We preach the kingdom. We preach God's kingdom here on earth. God's kingdom here. You must be happy to be there. What a great God. What a wonderful thing. Jesus Christ. He cared for us. He died to save us, to set us free. That is no name that is given among men. That is no other name that is given among men whereby we must be saved. It must be the name of Jesus Christ that saves us. It must be Jesus that heals. It must be Jesus that delivers. It must be Jesus that saves us. There is no other name. There is no two names. It's only one name. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He's the one that saves us. He's the one that delivers us. Our God is a faithful God. There is only one way, the way, the truth, and the life. Our God is faithful. Jesus Christ says, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. And that's it. There is no other way. There is no other truth. There is no other life except in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He is God. He is the faithful one. He is the coming king. He is coming back again. And he died for us on the cross of Calvary to set us free. That is why he is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. No other name. No other name that is given among men whereby we will be saved. I say it again and I repeat it again and again. You may be offended at me, but I'm telling you the truth. But you know that the truth is bitter, but it's saved. It's better you know the truth. It's better you hear the truth. And the truth is that there is no other name that is given among men whereby we must be saved. And Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And if you have joy here on earth, you're going to have joy in heaven. Many of us today, you wanna, they don't want to see each other. Many of us today, even your own home, you don't want to see your wife, you don't want to see your husband, you don't want to see your sister, you don't want to see your friend, and you are telling me that you are doing the right thing and you want to go to heaven. Supposing when you go to heaven and then you see your brother, you see your sister, you see your husband, you see your wife, how can you cope? You will not cope as well. <laughs> Amen. Yes, I see. God bless you. God bless you. Our God is faithful. Amen. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. So you want to see your brother, you see your neighbor, you see your friend, be happy. You must be happy. You must be happy so that everything will work together for good. If you are not happy, people, then you're not going to be, you're not going to go there, young lady. I tell you now. You gotta be happy. Jesus love you, young man. Our God is faithful. Our God is just. When you go to heaven, you're gonna see happy people. So if you are someone that is not happy, then how can you cope? You cannot cope when you go to heaven. If you are unhappy people, if you are not happy here on earth, if you do not manage to be happy here on earth, how can you be how can you manage to be happy in heaven? There is no management in heaven. In heaven, there is peace, joy, there is love, there is righteousness. That is what is in heaven. So there is no manage, okay? You can manage to be here, but in heaven, you cannot manage to be there. Because the heaven is the presence of God. The Bible says, where the presence of God is, there is liberty, there is joy. You must have joy. You must be happy to go there. If you are not happy, you cannot go there. Our God is a faithful God. Heaven is a prepared place for the prepared people. So I want you to be happy, to be ready to go to God's kingdom. That's why we are here. That's why we are in the market. Speaking to thousands of you, that you be happy to go to the kingdom of God. You should know what you're going to do in order to go to the kingdom of God. Because I know that you must, maybe you do not know what to do. Let me tell you, if your friend is deceiving you that everybody is going to go to heaven, that is not true. The people that will go to heaven are the people that give their life to Jesus Christ, that repent from their sins, and that have received Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. They are the people that will go to the kingdom of God. If you've not given your life to Jesus Christ and received Jesus Christ as a personal Lord and Savior, how can you go to heaven? You cannot go to heaven because you've got to give your life. You've got to give it all. You're going to give it up. You're going to give it up. You're going to give your selfishness up. You're going to give yourself up before you go to the kingdom of God. If you don't give yourself up, how can you go to the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God is meant for those that give themselves up. When you give yourself up, you can be able to go to the kingdom of God. If not, you can never ever be able to go to the kingdom of God. But the kingdom of God is a prepared place for the prepared people. And Jesus Christ loves us when we love our neighbors. 
If you don't love your neighbors, how can you go to the kingdom of God? There is no kingdom of God. There is no one single kingdom of God for those that refuse to repent, for those that refuse to receive Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. There is no kingdom for you. That is not even the kingdom of earth is not for you. The only kingdom that is for you is the kingdom of peace and joy and love. The kingdom that Jesus Christ rule and reign. The kingdom that Jesus Christ rule. The kingdom that Jesus Christ rule in it. That's God's kingdom. Our God is a faithful and God is a just God. Therefore, today is a wonderful day. Today is an acceptable day. There is none other name that is given among men. You're going to be happy to go to the kingdom of God. So today, our message is joy. The joy of the Lord must be your strength. The joy is that wonderful goodness of God. It's that wonderful feeling of the presence of the Holy Spirit. If you don't have that presence of the Holy Spirit, I can assure you, you are not joyful. The joy is of the Lord, and the Lord is joy. Our God is faithful. Jesus Christ live and reign forever and ever and ever. Let us today approach that kingdom. Let us approach the kingdom of God. Jesus Christ loves us so much. Our God lives and reigns, and he is a wonderful God. There is none to be compared with him. There is none like him. No one like unto our Lord Jesus Christ. There's no one like Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ lives and reigns, and he is a great God, and he loves us so much, and he cares for us. There is no one to be compared with the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the day the Lord has made. This is a wonderful, beautiful day. Jesus Christ has given it to us, that we should rejoice, that we should be glad in it. Our God is faithful. Our God is awesome. Our God is mighty. Our God is faithful. That is no one that comes to the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died for us on the cross to save us, to set us free. Today is that day, everybody. Today is that day of salvation. Today is that acceptable day. There is no two ways. It's only one way. Only one way. There is no two names. It's only one name. That name Jesus Christ. That is the name that saves. That is the name that delivers us. One Jesus. One Lord, one Lord, one Lord. That's the only thing that saves us. The name of Jesus Christ is great. And he's the only one, the only name that saves us. The only name that delivers us. One Lord, one God, one Jesus, one baptism. That is what saves us. Our God is great. Our God is God. Therefore, today is that beautiful day. It's a wonderful day. It's a great day. It's a righteous day. Jesus Christ is God. Great is the faithfulness of God. Great is the loving kindness of God. Therefore, today, I beg you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for you to give your life today, for you to repent from your sins, and for you to receive Jesus Christ today as your personal Lord and Savior. Because today is a acceptable day. Because tomorrow, it is now, it is today, and today is that day. Not tomorrow, it is right now. Jesus Christ died for us on the cross to save us, save us free. And today, He is speaking to those that are dead and if we are raised from the dead. The Bible says, Jesus Christ resurrects as many as are unjustified, killed, and crucified, and destroyed. Today is that day. He loves us so much. He loves us and He cares for us. There is no one that comes in the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. He died to save us, save us free. There is no name that is given among men whereby we must be saved. It must be Jesus. It is Jesus. It must be the Savior that saved us. It must be the Savior that redeems us. It must be the Savior that delivers us. It is Jesus. So today we say joy. Have joy because in the kingdom of God there is joy, there is peace, there is love, there is righteousness. That is what is in the kingdom of God. So we want everybody, as many as here, we can be able to reach, to repent, and to receive Jesus Christ. Without repentance, there is no kingdom for you. Without salvation, there is no kingdom for you. Today is a day of salvation. It may be too harsh for you, but I tell you the truth, and the truth sets you free. And the truth is that without repentance, there is no kingdom for you. Without salvation, there is no kingdom for you. Our God is a faithful, our God is a just God. Therefore, God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. This is your servant, Apostle Peter Nova. Remain blessed and be lifted in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. Amen.
God is great. Hallelujah. Amen.